Okay, so this right here is the cat hoverboard. It's why you clicked on this video and probably what you want to know how to unlock. Well, luckily, it's pretty simple, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first off, a lot of you are probably wondering how in the world you get it to begin with. Basically, you go down here to your menu, you open up the mastery tab down here, and you'll see all your different ranks of mastery. Now, each one of these is for a different mechanic in the game, like, for example, breaking coins. This one's for opening up eggs. This one's for converting pets. We'll go through all of these before the video's over with. And you have to get all of these to level 99. Shout out to this tweet right here, which actually showed the code for the game. And well, this is how we know how to get it. Now you might be thinking, wow, it's going to take a long time to get up to level 99 weeks, maybe even months. Well, luckily I found a way to cheese it. Preston's probably not going to be too happy about this. So to be able to do this, we're actually going to need an auto clicker. Now, if you play Pet Simulator X, a lot of you probably already have an auto clicker. If you don't, I would recommend going and getting OP auto clicker. I've used it all the time in the past. My girlfriend uses it. It's free. And as you can see down here, it's also available on mobile, which is nice. Now, if you have a Logitech gaming mouse like I do right here, the software that comes with it actually has a built-in auto clicker. So you can use that instead. But most of you guys probably don't. So let me show you how to do all this with a regular auto clicker. So I'm going to show you how to cheese all of these and unlock this thing in literally just a day or two or probably a few days. So let's start off with the most basic mastery rank. This is the eggs mastery. You can see I'm already level 90. And basically how you get this is you just open up eggs. So all I did was I came to the starter zone. I'm going to go over here to the cheapest starter egg. And if you have the game pass with auto hatch, you can just turn that on and it'll just auto hatch everything for you. Make sure you turn on your auto clicker so that it clicks constantly. That way it doesn't disconnect you from the game and you can just leave your computer and have it do this all day. If you don't have that game pass, well, you can actually just do this with an auto clicker too. All you got to do is position the E button so that whenever you click the E button, the buy three or buy one button also pops up on the screen. So you just sit, you click, it'll just keep clicking click, 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 click. And you can just get up, leave your computer. And like I said, go to school or something. And then when you get back, your level will be pretty much maxed out. I got 90 from just a few hours of doing this. Now you want to make sure that your auto delete is on for every single section, basic, rare, epic, legendary, mythic, exclusive. Otherwise, when you do this, the pets are just going to fill up your inventory. It's going to fill all the way up and it's going to cancel itself out and it's not going to work. And then for the golden egg mastery, it's literally the exact same thing. Pick a golden egg, do the exact same method. Now this next thing I'm going to show you is probably Probably the biggest cheese that has ever been in the game. Here's what you do. You're going to want to teleport to the glacier biome, or if you don't have to teleport, just walk there or glide there, whatever you want to do. And basically you're looking for this giant glacier right here in the middle of the frozen lake. Now, once you find that, what you want to do is actually get off your hoverboard or anything else you're using. And you want to just go to the line in between the biome. The reason why we're using the line here is because nothing actually spawns on the line. And you're just going to line yourself up with the top of this glacier right here, basically perfectly lined up right here like this. And then you're actually going to go in the settings of the game and you want to make sure that the pet sending is set to single. So that way, whenever you click, it only sends a single pet out. My triple damage boost has expired. I, I guess, sure, we'll go ahead and renew it. Anyway, make sure that's on single and here's where the cheese comes in. You're going to want to zoom in. You're going to want to put your mouse eh, maybe about like right there. Turn on your auto clicker. It's going to start sending your pets like that. And then you want to take your phone, your baby sister, a rock, whatever you want, put it on the right arrow key of your keyboard and this is going to spin your character around and it's going to send pets over and over and over again to every single coin present chest crate everything in the game and you don't have to do anything you can get up and leave your computer like i said though you may have to adjust your mouse just up or down a little bit to make sure that your pets are actually hitting the appropriate things but if you do it correctly it should look a little bit like this i'm gonna line it up like that i'm gonna put my camera or actually my phone on the right arrow key adjust my mouse just a little bit and well there you go you can see all the craziness going on literally coins diamonds everything now you might be wondering what exactly this is doing how is this helping you get the cat pet well as you just saw the crate mastery actually leveled up because if you go to your mastery you can see we have coin pile mastery we have vaults and safe mastery diamonds mastery presence mastery chest mastery crate mastery loot bag mastery and well if you look around in this area here we've got diamonds we've got coins we've got got safes. We've got a little present right there. And we've also got a little bit of each right on over here. So while you're sitting right here and just spinning around and going to take a bath or going to school or sleeping or whatever, you're going to be getting every single one of these all the way up to 99 and you literally don't have to do anything. Now, unfortunately, there are a few you're going to have to manually do yourself, but these actually don't take that long. Like, for example, the converting mastery. You can just go on over to the converting machine. Like I said, there's no way to 
automate this, but the easiest way to do it is to just convert a bunch of cheap pets. Just go ahead, fill it up as much as possible. Click OK. Yes, it's going to go ahead. Success. Boom. It went up a little bit. You got a little bit of XP. Now, the easy way to do this is to just buy a bunch of starter pets and eggs. Just make sure you disable your auto delete setting. And then once you have a bunch of those pets, just go ahead and convert them. And you can fill this up in maybe an hour or two. Now, you'll want to do the exact same thing for the dark matter mastery as well as the fusing mastery too. Now, when it comes to the enchanting mastery, we can actually cheese that one. Let me show you how. So you want to teleport on over to the enchanted forest or just travel there if you don't have the teleporter. And while using the auto clicker, we can cheese this one too. So basically just select the pet, any pet you want, we'll do this one. And if we see, whenever we click enchant, it's going to say, are you sure? We're going to click yes. And then it's going to do its little spinny thing. We're going to get a little bit of enchanting experience for our rank. Now, what you can actually do is position the mouse so that whenever you click enchant, it also clicks yes. And well, then at that point, all you got to do, you might have guessed it. Just go ahead, turn on your auto clicker, go for a swim, take a bath, go to school, go to sleep, whatever. When you come back, your enchanting will be max level 99. Now, if you've been keeping up with everything, you know that only leaves a few more. We've got the boost mastery and then as well, the free gifts mastery. Now, the boost mastery is actually really easy to do if you have some Robux. Basically, you want to go on over here to the shop, buy a bunch of boosts and just make sure that they're constantly on. You can just click them over and over again and stack them. And that way, while you're doing all the other stuff, it just constantly ticks down. And as it ticks down, it's actually going to boost up that mastery for, well, for boost mastery. If you don't have a lot of Robux or don't want to you know, spend your mom's credit card, then your best bet is to just get a bunch of rank rewards, get a bunch of boosts, the normal way of playing the game. And then over the course of a few days, activate them. That will take the longest, unfortunately. Now, the last one is actually the free gifts mastery. And as well, unfortunately, the only way to get this is by waiting. You have to wait for the free gifts to stack. And then you can go in and redeem every single one of them just like that. You can see it leveled up and we also got a bunch of boosts from that too. Now, the great thing about having an auto clicker and just leaving your computer on overnight, just doing all this stuff for you is it'll also tick down all of these rewards. So whenever you wake up, you can just come on in and well, click them all just like I just did. And well, according to my mathematical skills, by doing everything I mentioned in this video, you could have the cat pet in probably a few days max, maybe a week, week and a half. Now for the people curious knowing you can't get banned by using an auto clicker, it's all in the Roblox TOS. Roblox literally allows it. But hopefully this video helped you guys out. Go get your cat hoverboard. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully Preston doesn't get mad at this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.